If you currently feel very tired and very lazy, a huge reason for this is probably because of your setting. If you have a dirty room or a messy house, then you are going to feel dirty and messy. Truly take time to think about this. If the things around you are all cluttered, then your mental is also going to be cluttered and dirty. A couple quick changes that you can make every single day to sustain a clean room is number one, to make your bed, and number two, put the clothes out that you are going to wear for the next day and have them already set and ready to go. Because in the morning, when everything is cluttered, then you're going to have to waste a lot of time thinking about what you are going to wear, and it's overall going to mess the whole routine of your day. But if it's all neatly set out and it's all clean and all of that, every single thing later in your day is going to feel more clean. Clean. And that may seem like a very strong claim, but that's really how powerful this is. And you could go even further with the setting of a whole bunch of things, your car or your whole house, even your relationships in life. For the relationships part, you may have heard this phrase before, I can judge you based off of the five closest friends that you have or something, something along those lines. It's probably not exactly that, but even goes as far as saying like five pieces of information that you consume or the information that you consume from different sources that also determines who you are. So where you get your information or the people that you hang around, you need to realize is contributing hugely to who you are. If you are hanging around people who really aren't that good for you and they themselves don't got their life figured out, how are you going to be able to get better when they are constantly bringing your basically baseline down? You are going to think that it's fine to not really excel at everything that you do because you are seeing all these other people who are average or below average. So trying and get friends that are going to help build you up and friends that you can also help build up. As far as the information that you are consuming, you could do things like cutting out certain social media where you really aren't getting that much benefit from. So on YouTube, guess what? If you're constantly consuming all this information from just entertainment-based channels, you could also learn from channels like this. I'm not trying to plug my channel or anything, but you could also learn from finance channels. You could learn from self-improvement channels. Any kind of thing that is going to help you, I would recommend that you you should subscribe to these channels or get your information from any various sort of place like books even because your settings at the end of the day dictate the type of person that you are so make sure that you change your setting for the better optimize it in every single way and if you want to see another video on how to actually do this step by step check out this video right next to me because i go fully in depth on how to do this thank you for watching i'm out be well peace